This is the Pelican Car Emergency Slide Board. It is a very strong and flexible board that will bend without breaking. The flexibility of this board makes it extremely useful when evacuating unconscious people from a vehicle. The board has a wide end and a narrow end. The narrow end, which we are inserting into the rear of the car, is used when there is not enough room behind the front seats. This is the wide end, which is normally put under the patient, and it is this end which should normally be used. With the board resting on the seat, it will now bend downwards to evacuate someone down to the ground. It will also bend upwards if you are moving someone up onto a trolley. The board's flexibility makes it extremely useful. Here we have the strap kit for evacuation of a patient. The green strap is large for the chest area. The yellow strap is medium for the thighs. The red strap is small for the ankles. Here we demonstrate putting the straps on. The red strap is wrapped around the person's ankles. The Velcro is threaded through the loop and secured. Next is the yellow thigh strap. When pulling on these straps, always use the loops that are provided. Do not hold with webbing. It is important to use the loops as your grip will not slip, as it may do if you simply grip the webbing. Never wrap the webbing around your hand, because if you need to release your grip in an emergency, you'll not be able to do so. So always use the loops provided. When you are pulling, use your body weight. Keep your arms straight and just lean backwards. Your body weight will do the hard work for you. Now the patient is being lowered onto the ground from inside the vehicle. The person inside the car is controlling the slide speed with the chest strap by pulling backwards. The person using the thigh and ankle straps controls the direction of the patient. In an emergency situation, the first thing to do is check the patient and make sure it is safe to move them. Lower all the car windows to keep it cool and allow access if necessary. The straps are then put onto the patient, preparing them for evacuation from the vehicle. Good back care practices should be used, so remember to bend your knees and not your back. Put the slide board into position. As the straps are already on, the nurse in the front seat is easily able to lift and manoeuvre the patient's legs onto the slide board. Gently roll the patient to place the slide board under their body. The person inside the car is in charge of the patient's evacuation, saying when to pull and when to stop. A car roller sheet or a bed slide sheet can be placed on the trolley to help slide the patient into position once they're on the trolley. The trolley's brakes should always be applied to stop the trolley moving when evacuating a patient. The two carers outside the vehicle will control the thigh and ankle straps and pull the patient out along the board onto the trolley. Note that the outer edge of the slide board is being held here as the patient is moved around to be evacuated from the car. As the patient's chest is pulled to the car door, the carer in charge tells the pullers to stop. They then go around to the other side of the car to look after the patient for the final pull to slide the patient fully onto the trolley. Here is a view from inside the car taking the patient out onto the trolley. A very low risk way for carers to remove the patient from the vehicle. Practice with the slide board and straps should be undertaken regularly, so in the event of its use in a real emergency, patient evacuation is a smooth and confident process.